got music on in the background, I hope you can hear it. Mm. Can you let me know, like, give me a thumbs up if you're able to hear the music, the background music, or maybe leave me a comment actually, because I'd like to know if you can hear the background music and if you can hear what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> this is my first live. <laughs> I'm seeing a couple of thumbs up, so I'm hoping that you can hear everything. I know there's always a slight delay for the person that's making the video. They tend to get notifications a lot later. Everything's fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I was meant to be doing this tomorrow, um, but because Tracy, bless her, she's been working so hard, like as a key worker, but then also coming home and doing <laughs> um, doing meditation so when she said she couldn't do it I thought oh well I could do mine <laughs> um, this is my first live video and my first guided meditation so I apologize if I stumble or anything I haven't done it before but um, I wanted to do something on letting go it's something that I struggle with and it, this isn't going to be necessarily corona related but perhaps at this like where we're all overloaded with information maybe this is actually quite a nice something to just leave on the side and concentrate on something that you want to let go of in your life um, whether it's um, feelings or thought patterns or relationship um, it could be grief like it could be anything um, just something that you want to let go of so I think I'm gonna get started I know it's five past um, and anyone that's missing it will just be able to watch it later so let's get going okay I'm excited and nervous at the same time <laughs> okay so first of all let's just start with generally relaxing all our body and um, starting with the top and we'll work our way down and we'll concentrate on the breathing as well so we'll just um, start off with the breathing so we'll breathe in for four hold it for four and then release for four through your mouth if you can I know with what's going on at the moment it's there's a lot, I feel it, I'm holding my breath a lot, I'm not even realising it, there's lo loads of tension. So we'll do it again, breathe in for four. Hold it for four. And then breathe out for four. I can feel tensions in my tummy as well coming out if I open my mouth and make the sound so you could try that as well if you feel like it helps breathe in for four hold it for four and breathe 
breathe out for four. One more time. Breathe in for four. Hold it for four. And breathe out for four. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the top of our heads. Just let all the tension fall away from your scalp. Give it a gentle rub. Loving hands. Give yourself comfort at this time. And keep the deep breathing. And just let your hands go instinctively to where they're needed. I remember at bedtime, my mum used to always stroke my head like this to get me off to sleep. And now that's been programmed as a way to instantly calm me down. So if you've got any of those stroking techniques that have like muscle memory or just do that now. And then we'll go around the forehead and the cheeks and the jaw, just gentle stroking. I love stroking in the tops of my eye sockets in here. I tend to have a lot of tension in there. So relaxing. Just gently stroke down your nose, under your eyes. tops of your cheekbones, up into the ears, under the cheekbones, up into the ears, just soothe away any tension that's being held in the muscles, especially around your jaw. jaws just released. Think about your tongue. Wiggle it around in your mouth and see where it's sat. And then just do another deep breath. And ask your tongue to take a rest. Now your throat. Your throat and your neck the back of your neck into your shoulders just stroke stroke and soothe the tops of your shoulders and your chest just give it a stroke tell your body that you love it and just keep stroking down your torso down towards your hips over the tummy so much tension's held in our tummy and hips. And just ask your body to relax now. Rub your thighs. Stroke over your knees. Over your calves. Over your ankles. deeper breath when it's needed. Go over your ankles and your feet. I saw a lovely post by Catherine today about making sure that you ground yourself outside in nature and I was thinking exactly the same thing Catherine today, how all the posts telling everyone stay indoors, stay indoors and it's like yes but people need to ground at the same time, let them be in nature, it's such a difficult balance. How's everyone feeling? A bit more relaxed? Maybe give your feet a bit of a wiggle, like rotate your feet and let your ankles rotate a bit and do the same with your hands, just to let anything go, any clicks that need to happen. There. Oh, 
that's good. Okay, so I know a few people have joined since I started, so just to let recap, this is going to be a letting go exercise. So if there's anything that's heavy in your body that feels like you're carrying a dead weight, or if you've got a blockage of any kind, a tie or a bind that no longer serves you, or if you have a thought pattern that you want to release, we're going to do it guys, we're going to do it today. So first of all, just sit with your body, close your eyes and think about where is it in your being, this thing that you want to release, whether it's a feeling, a thought or a relationship, where is it in your being, what shape is it? What colour is it? Just think about it as a thing at the moment. Try and make it into an object if you can. Something that you can visualise, something that you can touch. What texture is it? Is it hard or is it a liquid? Is it sharp or is it smooth? Or does it have another texture? And how does it feel in your being, whether it's in your body could be an ache or if it's in your being like in your aura somewhere is it you know like I had a visualization that I had a blockage that looked like dried cream that needed to be removed just think about what it is exactly how long has it been there now I want you to ask your spirit guide to help you for this next part Ask your spirit guides to bring you an object or a memory or a vision, something that represents where this blockage came from. Hold it in your hands or hold it in your mind's eye and place it in your being where you feel the blockage, whether it's in your body, your physical body or in your energy body. Now ask your spirit guide to flood it with white light, like a laser beam. Watch it sparkle as the light covers every crevice, engulfing it all so you can no longer see it. you can see now of this object is a golden silhouette. It's glowing and throbbing with each breath. So as you breathe in, the gold silhouette glows brighter and when you breathe out, it glistens like glitter. Breathe in, and it glows, breathe out, and it glistens, breathe in, and it glows even brighter, breathe out, and it glistens and sparkles like sunshine on the sea, breathe in, and feel the energy intensify as the white light grows even stronger. Breathe out and watch it glisten and sparkle like embers of a flame. Keep breathing. More love and light into this area. energy is starting to intensify now. This object is getting so full of light, so light and 
expansive. That the blocked energy that was weighing heavy can't hold the same space anymore. And it bursts open and splinters into a million shards of light, burning bright like a star, glistening and twinkling like fireworks. It's beautiful. And you notice that you can now breathe more deeply into this area than you could before. There is more space. You feel lighter, brighter, and yet full of love and peace. Just enjoy that feeling. created a space for you to now be able to fill with beautiful things that you want to manifest into your life. Joyful relationships, happy thoughts, feelings of well-being. That space is yours the creative space. Your spirit guide seals your aura with a crystal, drawing a pentacle. Now we're going to just bring some white light down from the crown to the root chakra just to make sure everything's aligned again. So we're going to picture a white light starting at the crown, soft water, slowly dripping, pouring down our face, down over the third eye. Feel how soothing that is. Feel it soothing your throat chakra. Down into your heart chakra. It feels comforting, reassuring, strengthening. Washing away anything that's been left behind from the exercise. Flushing out any toxins. Into your sacral chakra. Excited for the manifestations that you're going to bring. Hooking onto the crystal that's at the centre of the earth. Bringing you strength. Courage. Reassurance. Nourishment. Balance. Let's take a few more breaths here. Feeling that white light. Covering the whole body, and with each breath, it just gets a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, covering your whole body and filling out into the room. If you feel any 
any toxins that are coming up from this release. Thank them and send them out of your nearest window and send them off with love. I don't know how you're feeling but I've got a bit lightheaded and I think I need to ground a bit more. So I will make sure I've got my feet on the ground and I'll grab a crystal afterwards. So after this exercise I'm setting the intention that you'll now move on with ease. The next step will present itself to you and you trust that you will know what to do. Enjoy that feeling of openness, of clarity, of peace. Give thanks to your guide. Thanks to your higher self. And to everyone doing this meditation. Now and in the future. <laughs> any new sensations in your body. Any new feelings that are coming up. Any thoughts. Maybe your spirit guide has given you a vision of the next step. Maybe you're just enjoying that feeling of release. When you're ready, open your eyes and come back into the room. Mm -hmm. feel like you want to write anything down now. I'm a big journal person. Now would be a really good time if there's anything that you experience that you want to try and remember or if you're feeling creative, anything flowing, or maybe you want to do some artwork or if you feel like you've got an outlet now. comments if there's anything that struck you from today I'd love to know <laughs> thank you so much for joining me this evening sending love and light <laughs>